I show you how to make a great chicken taco casserole up next on the Trailer Park Cooking Show. <laughs> She's bringing the trailer park lifestyle to the world. Come inside, don't be shy, cause Jolene can't wait to meet ya. She's the queen of the park, she's got gossip news and lots of food to feed ya. Jolene Sugar Baker, Jolene Sugar Baker is one budget minded girl. Lots of cheap fashion is the passion at the park. The passion at the park. The passion at the park. Dropping in on neighbors is all part of Jolene's world. Jolene Sugar Baker, she's the trailer park queen. Hi there, Trailer Park fans. It's Jolene Sugarbaker, the Trailer Park Queen. And welcome to the Trailer Park Test Kitchen. And welcome to another edition of Cooking with Jolene, the Trailer Park Cooking Show, where I teach you how to live on a budget and do it the Trailer Park way. Well, the first question that I'm probably going to get is, where has Jolene been? Well, I got a kidney stone. Yes, I did. I, I, you know, that was not fun at all. I will tell you that. Now, I'll probably get the comments, well, if she didn't eat that processed food, then she probably wouldn't get one. Well, I will have you know that my doctor said that it was probably the black tea, the iced tea that I drink, and it has nothing to do with anything else. Or it's probably anything else that has something called oxalate. And I looked that up, and that is kale and spinach and things that I think that are salad bar decoration more than food products if you ask me but hopefully that will clear things out I still have one somewhere inside of me they keep zapping me with something to look at it but I have no idea hopefully it'll come out at some point and I'm drinking lots of lemon water too and I, my nerves without that tea I will tell you anyway we've got lots to catch up on I went out to Hollywood in Beverly Hills and with your help, my show won Best Comedy Series at the Taste Awards. And I won this award. And I won Best Home Chef in a series, too. I won two awards. Look at that with your help. Thank you so much for your swart. And, I, you know, we've got lots to do here. I wanted to share a recipe with you. We've got potlucks coming up with the summer. And this was a super simple one. It is a chicken taco bake. It's super easy to make with tortilla chips and some black beans and cheese. And it bakes down to a great delight that people will spoon out for days at a potluck. I'm going to show you how to make my chicken taco bake up next on the Trailer Park Cooking Show. It's so good to be back. Welcome back. Making my chicken taco bake is really simple and what I've done here, this is the frozen chicken breast and I put it in a baking pan with just a little bit of seasoning, some salt, some pepper, whatever you like depending on your maladies. You don't want to over season it because we're going to be using some taco seasoning a little bit later. And I cooked it till it was well done and I used a meat thermometer and then I shredded it here and you're going to use about four cups but you can use however much you make because if you're on a budget, you're on a budget. Next up, you're going to take some tortilla chips and you're going to crush them up. You need about five cups. You don't want to crunch them up to a fine powder, but you do need some crushed up ones. This recipe uses both canned tomatoes and a small tomato chopped up. So go ahead and chop up a small tomato. Wow, that's looking nice and red now. Finally, some good tomatoes. I made a salsa last week and I posted a picture of that after I added some red food coloring because they were like a pink tomato at that point. And don't you tell anybody I did that yet. <laughs> Welcome back. The chicken taco bake has a mixture of the chicken that you cooked up 
This is about four cups, so let's go ahead and just put that in a bowl here. Now, we put some salt and pepper on this while this was cooking. We don't want to over-season it because we've got some taco seasoning here. This is a taco seasoning packet here, probably about six teaspoons worth here. We've got a cup of sour cream that goes right on into the mixture here. And you could use light sour cream if you really want to cut back on the calories here. There we go. And this is two cans of cream of chicken soup. Now, you could probably use some sort of other cream of uh, mushroom soup if you really wanted to, but this just makes it very home style. And we are not using any kind of water or milk to this. We are using it straight from the cans, and we are just using two cans of that cream of chicken soup and just this makes some great casseroles we've made a lot of things in the past that use this ingredient right here and this is just something that is just an easy thing to keep in your cabinet to make um, casseroles now this is chopped up tomato uh, with green chilies in it and we didn't drain that we are just going to dump that right on into the bowl there and I've got a can of black beans that goes right on into the bowl. And I'm going to mix this all around till it's well mixed and check back with you in just a moment. Okay, we have our chicken mixture in a 13 by 9 baking pan that I've sprayed out. And what we're going to do is spread out half of the chicken mixture down at the bottom here. Now you can adjust the seasoning in this chicken mixture. What would you do? Leave a comment down at the bottom. We use the taco seasoning today and they have the lower sodium kind if that is your malady and you need to cut back on that. We're going to be using some tortilla chips. Now I have crunched up five cups of those and these are just, you could use the yellow or the white corn chips, whichever is your fancy. and. I'm going to spread this nice chicken. Look at that with the black beans in it. Doesn't that look fancy? And just spreading that out. Now, I'm going to take these um, crushed tortilla chips. This is three cups worth of that. We're going to use a total of um, the about five cups. And we're just going to spread it out onto the um, chicken mixture just like that. Look at that. This Use your fingers here and spray it out. Nobody will know. There we go. Just make sure that they're clean and you didn't pet the cat or anything. And we have some shredded cheese. We're going to use two cups of that at once here. We're going to use one cup here on this layer. I'm just going to spread that out here on top of that mixture. And now we're going to layer the other bit of the chicken mixture. Now make sure you get all of that goodness here and I'm sure you could use ground turkey or something like they got in here as a change out what would you do and there we go and some people don't like chili and that's okay um, the powder and you could probably leave that out too and maybe just garlic it up a little bit and just spreading that out on top of the mixture Okay, now you've got the second layer of the chicken mixture on there, and you've got the two cups left of the crushed tortilla chips, and you're just going to put those right up on top. Now, you still have a cup of cheese, and you're going to add that in the middle of the baking of this in the oven, and we are going to wrap this up in some foil, and we're going to cook this in a 350-degree oven for about 30 minutes. So, let me wrap this up, and using some foil here and now we're going to pop it in the 350 degree oven for about 30 minutes so set your timer okay it has baked for about 30 minutes and we're going to take off this top here and we are going to add one more cup of cheese right up on top and this is just going to make it super cheesy now be careful it is hot and just spread that cheese out. Now you could add some additional toppings. We're going to add some fresh tomatoes, some cilantro, and some green onions when it comes out. But I like to bake a few black olives up on top just so that it looks real pretty. You don't have to put this in there. 
but I just think this looks really nice up on top and makes it a true buffet meal. So let's go ahead and pop this back in the oven for about 10 minutes until the cheese melts down. So set your timer. And there you have it, my chicken taco casserole. And look at that, that is so pretty. We put the tomato pieces and the onion and some cilantro up on top. You don't have to put that if it makes it taste like soap to you because you don't want to mess that all up. But I put some black olives. You can certainly put some jalapenos up on top. And we use the taco seasoning and you can kind of change out the spices to your taste. Leave a comment down at the bottom about how you would change this up. But I can't wait to taste this. Look at that tortilla chips. They're crunchy on the top and soft in the middle. Mmm! That has got a real zing. And it's got the pow of the taco seasoning and the cool and creaminess of the sour cream and the onions and the cilantro and, and the crunch of the tortilla chips. Wow! This is definitely going to make you the star of your next buffet or potluck and mmm, that is really good. People will be talking about this for days. Wow! I hope you get a chance to make my chicken taco casserole and if you do, send me pictures at JoleneTrickerBaker at gmail.com. Don't forget to follow the trailer park all over the place. Just look for me, Instagram, Pinterest, I'm all over the place. and. Hit that big old subscribe button and the notification alarm. It's somewhere there. It's they, they move it all around just for fun. I think they do that. But I'm so glad to be back with y'all. I'm going to hear all your stories about what you've been doing and all sorts of things down in the comments and what you want to see on the upcoming Trailer Park cooking shows. I'll be back real soon. I love you all and I'm so glad to be back with you. Live the Trailer Park way. Bye-bye. Slap on all your blue eyeshadow. Watch out.